overflows self consciousness and self awareness self consciousness is a sickness a disease self awareness is wholeness it is health both words appear to be same because of language that is created by unconscious people as a result they cannot make the fine demarcation self consciousness simply means ego consciousness and self awareness means soul consciousness if we put it this way ego consciousness and soul consciousness your ego is false identity because you have so much money or power or you are born in a respectable family your education your position or status in life all these things constitute ego and living with this creates ego consciousness but your soul comes with you you are born with it it has nothing to do with anything whether you are educated or uneducated kabir was born uneducated jesus was not educated whether you come from a respectable family or not does not matter at all as far as soul is concerned nothing matters kabir lived by soul consciousness jesus lived by that it is not known whether kabir was born from a hindu family or a muslim family he was found on the bank of gang river ganga by a muslim weaver niru and his wife neema he was found abundant he always had as he grew up he took weaving as his profession he always had a bent a lineage towards religion and god as a small child whose parents had left him there perhaps he was illegitimate but kabir became one of the richest human beings the world has known no family no certainty of what religion he belonged to no education no riches he remained a weaver his whole life he would weave and go to the market day go to the market every market day to sell his cloth and that was his whole earning the income thus earned was enough for 7 days but you cannot find a richer man so full of bliss that each of his songs is still carries something alive with it after centuries have passed just the words of kabir can echo something within you as if kabir was present he has poured his heart in his words and those words are of gold so he has abundant riches jesus was the son of a carpenter very poor absolutely uneducated had no idea about the scriptures learning scholarships but still he has a richness a consciousness so that even on the cross he did not forget to pray to god his last words 
on the earth was father forgive those people who are crucifying me because they know not what they are doing they are unconscious people this message is very relevant and if this message becomes a part of your life you are the richest person in the life father forgive those people who are crucifying me because they know not what they are doing they are unconscious people in your life many situation comes people say things about you because they are unconscious so they need forgiveness such compassion comes out of self awareness and self awareness does not depend on anything outside you it depends on you the soul is there you have just to wake it up and live by the soul consciousness this is an awakening avoid self consciousness that is sickness of the soul go deeper into self awareness that is your authentic reality the compassion that jesus has expressed comes out of self consciousness self awareness you can make this part of your life you will be abundantly rich one morning a young woman got out of the bed slipped into her robe raised the shade uncovered the parrot put on the coffee pot answered the phone and heard a masculine voice hello honey my ship had just hit the port and i am coming right over so the young lady took the coffee pot off the stove covered up the parrot pulled down the shade took off her robe got into bed and heard the parrot mumble christ what a short day that was man is not even that much alert you go on living like a jumbo a robot like a routine life every day repeating the same without ever thinking that you have not yet done the most important thing you have not yet encountered yourself you have not yet attained to self awareness you are engaged in making your ego as big as possible but the ego is your enemy not your friend it is the ego that gives you wounds and hurts you it is the ego that makes you violent angry jealous and competitive it is ego that is cons continuously comparing and making you feel miserable self awareness is the awareness of your inner world the kingdom of god within as you become aware of the tremendous beauty of your own being its joy its light its eternal life its richness its overflowing love you feel so blessed that you can bless the whole world without any description as you become aware of tremendous beauty of your own being its joy its light its 
eternal life, its richness, its overflowing love, profusely. You feel so blessed that you can bless the whole world without any discrimination. Sometimes this becomes your state. Destroy the ego because that is hiding your authentic soul and discover your soul that will be your self-awareness. Self-awareness is the way to your kingdom which is also the kingdom of God. It is within you. You are not to go anywhere. You have to come back home simply. Come back home. And that's all is needed. You will feel tremendous richness, love overflowing profusely every moment as you traverse through life's roads. You are so overwhelmed with this overflow that you can bless the whole world without any discrimination. Such is the state of awakening, inner flowering, inner blossoming. As the inner flower begins to blossom, you feel love overflowing you to infinite quantum and as if you have discovered an unfathomable reservoir and you can share it whosoever comes in your company and a friend.